Hey guys, welcome back to LA Noir. I do believe this is our final episode and I am so, so excited to see what happens in this one. The last episode was just brilliant. We saw Fontaine get killed. We saw <laughs> Elsa being knocked out and get kidnapped by Ira, the guy that's been lighting all of the fires cannot wait to see how this a beautiful game ends i've not been spoiled so that makes it even more better because i am clueless as to what happens so let's just jump right in and finish this story a different kind of war the war against corruption and the police force oh kelso well hello He's looking better. He's still got blood all over him, though. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. All right. I actually really like being Kelso, I have to say. So we are going to... Let's just... Give me one moment. The arson suspect. So that's got to be... The Ira guy, correct? Uh, that's got to be him. Okay, so we have got three places to go to here. Has the game actually... It hasn't given me one to go to. You know what? It's going to be the last one. It's going to be the last one. Because it always is. It's not going to be the first place that I go to look at. I'll try. I'll see if I can be clever and go to the right place first. It won't be the first place. It'll be maybe the second or the last. Okay, let's see. Westlake Pest Control. <laughs> Give this a go. It looks sus already. I think I'm right. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. No way. Are you kidding? I absolutely love that. Oh, this is Fontaine's surgery. Oh, wow. This is awesome. So cool. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink, dead in his patient's room, spine snapped like a twig. Wow. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Wow. So this is Cole's first time learning about Elsa's uh, disappearance, kidnapping. I love being with Rusty. So we're happy. Hey, we gotta find some we gotta find some clues here. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Alright. Leyland, listed below are the properties you wanted accounted for. My associate has visited each and made a thorough survey. And from what he tells me, I gather these families and residents no longer require the assistance provided by our relocation program. Harlan Fontaine. Fontaine was having the houses burned for Monroe. Mm. Yes. So he wrote that to Monroe, who we know is the Elysian Fields suburban redevelopment guy. <laughs> Such an interestingly worded letter to say that they've been burnt. Ooh. Liability, why? Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. 
Harlan, this was not our arrangement. Your associate is overstepping his mark. Get him under control or I will take whatever action is necessary. So that's all of the addresses of the people that didn't agree to sell and um, that guy took care of them. Wow. Oh, that thing's been crossed out. That makes me want to look at it. The subject was born into an Oklahoma sharecrop farming family. Failed harvests during the Dust Bowls of the 1930s. This must be, this is the guy that is doing all the, the fires. The subject's father found work as a stuntman in a low budget cowboy films. Oh, so much is crossed out. I'm just going to take a few moments to read this. If you also want to read it, you could um, pause the screen as well. Okay, so reading through that, um, the suspect served in the Marines in the war. And this is just about what Dr. Fontaine prescribed him with the morphine and things like that. But it didn't really work because he was having um, like paranoid schizoid tendencies but still keeping them at bay with uh, the drug therapy I don't know this subject could without continued guidance slip back into the clutches of his many demons and enter a new antisocial state of psychotherapy well he certainly doesn't have guidance right now as <laughs> Dr. Fontaine is on the floor dead interesting very interesting that um oh the blood on it yeah so much for your foresight doctor yeah but what he doesn't know is that that crystal ball was used to hit his um his dear elsa A, a beautiful surgery all right let's take a look at you mister destroyed by a monster of your own creation dr fontaine mm. i've heard that story somewhere before yes indeed oh he's got something oh is it a note did the killer leave that there as a clue perhaps why why would you do something like that it's a very curious oh a newspaper is this our very last one the face of progress says mayor of developer Leyland Monroe that goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is <laughs> of the essence. Keep your voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge <laughs> for lunch? Fuck them. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Mm. Speaking of which... I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? Oh. You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. Well. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. <laughs> Have you? No, I haven't. <laughs> Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jeff Kelso. Well, he didn't necessarily get rid of the fruitcake at all, did he? The fruitcake got rid of him. 12 of 13 newspapers? Man, have I missed one? Uh, 
there is still a clue here to find. Where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. The doctor has been marking this map. Ah, oh, one of my favorite things to do. I love it. Is this a listing of some of the houses? It looks like railroad tracks. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? That the Rancho Escondido should certainly mean something to both of them. They would have seen, they've seen it everywhere. Oh. New houses all being built on the path of the freeway? So that's the new, fr oh, that's the new freeway, the highway going, wait, not freeway. Okay. So that's them all there, yeah, 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 yeah. Advice? We need to find Elsa. There must be something that links the big guy to the shrink. There's still something else here though, guys. Just going to keep looking around until I can find everything. I am not entirely sure about, um, the freeway, the meaning of the freeway. So all of these houses that's getting built along the path of the freeway, all of those have been destroyed, right? Um, does that increase their value perhaps by being next to the freeway? Just trying to work out what that significance is. Oh, here we go. There's something. Ah, oh, he's got lots of little morphine bits. Yep, he does. Mm -hmm. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. <laughs> yes, indeed. He has. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, oh. Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved uh, value yes, of the land. Yes, yes, yes. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing. Mm. Firewood. Oh, yep. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. <laughs> How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? The doctor's dead. The roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the fire bug. The mm -hmm. Yogi Cowboy. Get mm -hmm. him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Yep, okay. Um, that is making sense. That makes sense. How can they... How can they prove all that, though? We need Elsa. We need that guy, Ira. We need Kelsa. We need everybody to help here. Ooh, this is so dangerous. I don't want you going in there, Jack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why are you there by yourself? This guy is so brave. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm not going in the front door. I'm looking in through the windows first. I can go through the side door. Oh my god. <gasps> That's him because you can see where all of the oh the paper cranes, the origami birds. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to go in. I don't want to go in. <gasps> What? Oh, I thought that was a clue. 
I thought that was a clue. I was I was worried then that it had something to do with the stuff that we saw way back in one of the earlier cases. Oh gosh. Okay, let me check around the left hand side. Oh, there's doors at the back too. Oh man. Alright, we'll go in the most obvious door to start with, the one in the front. Guess nobody's home. Oh, oh no, I don't want to be here. It's not that nobody is home. Okay, so what has he got here? Well, this guy's bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. A flamethrower. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's normal for his line of work. Um... I want to look everywhere, but I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, that scary room with the birds in it. Oh, wow. Was that... Ah, oh, see? I don't know if Jack really knows about stuff like that, but Cole would. I'm going to open that just to keep an exit available. Hang on, guys. I can hear flies. Is there a dead body? in here this is so nerve-wracking it's a big gun oh wow hang on oh gosh i just got scared because i saw blood dripping but that's just Kelso. That's poor Kelso's wound that he hasn't even had time to fix. I'm going in that origami room last because it freaks me out. Oh, jeez, I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. What was that? The door closed. That leads to the outside. Yeah, there's two doors. Yep. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, origami room time, I think. Have we been in this room? Oh gosh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. We'll try this room. Okay. And that's us. We've looked at everything except the origami room. That's where we're going now. Oh my gosh. The room is kind of beautiful, Quite but scary. Quite a flock scary. you got here, Kit. I know those faces. Wow. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. So Cal, so Jack knows. Is any of the is Cole? There's Cole. So he was actually in Cole's unit then, and Kelso's unit. A strange obsession. Yeah. I wonder if he's trying to make a thousand to make the wish. What's that? The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Oh my god, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. 
Oh, I'm so scared. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. Oh my gosh. Tell Cole, Jack, please. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. Yes. Finally. I don't want them to be alone in this. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River Tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, and Roger that. Three. The hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. What? Why does why is he doing this? Oh my god. I can't believe he's obeying the traffic That's Kelso's car. The traffic lights. Oh no. Oh no, please. Come on. So we have to reach the tunnels and try and help Jack to get there. Reports that the suspect is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, extremely dangerous. Suspect vehicle to be disabled immediately. Oh, no. If oh, necessary, no. use of deadly force is authorized. Uh, uh, Getting close and scared him off the dock. Off Fifth Street. Repeat to the Chevy Fleet Line Navy Blue. Whoa. Westbound on Fifth Street. I have to try and Jesus get, the, Christ. get the cops away. How many cops are these guys on? All units. All units. We have a new suspect vehicle. Shop number 13516. Repeating, shop 13516 is a second suspect vehicle. Described as a green Hudson Commodore. License 3 Sam 0102. Reported to be aiding suspect Jack Kelson. Oh no. <laughs> All units, stand by for further. This is so bad. Suspect vehicle side is heading northeast toward Third Street on the embankment between Third Oh Street. no. This is terrible. All units, further to the second suspect vehicle, shop 13516. Chief Wall has authorized the use of deadly force. Oh Repeat, my gosh. Use of deadly force is authorized in disabling both suspect vehicles. Okay. Jack does know that this is cool, right? He can probably see in the rearview mirror. I would hope so. Who is this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. <laughs> I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Oh, here we got go. It, got it. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. 
And you think he'll make it out of there alive? Oh, not with these guys. I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? What is his offer? Oh, gosh, guys. This is so bad. This is honestly so corrupt. What happens if I come out here? Oh, they shoot at me. <laughs> I just wanted to see what happened. I suspected as much. It's all good. We gotta gotta try everything. I'd love to see different things. I am extremely concerned because Cole and Jack know what's going on. Obviously, these guys don't want anyone to know what's going on. The son of a bitch is limping! Yeah. Damn, it's hard. Oh, God damn! Very, very difficult. Are you gonna pop out next? Come on, buddy. I think I got... This one's got your name on. So far. Okay, that's one guy. Just that last guy. Come on. Right, good, good job, good job. Let's see if I can't put one Blow out the guns. Wait for him to pop back around. There we go. Just want to take this steady because I don't know if there's going to be any more of them. I would definitely assume so. Yep, here we go. Just one moment while we try and recover a little bit. Which way? Oh, that's out. We don't want to go that way. Oh, which way though? Do we just keep going straight down the middle of the tunnel? Nope. <laughs> I think we have to make a right down here. Flamethrower? What was that? Where can I go? Oh god, there's a guy. There's a guy in there. Around the corner. I'm pretty sure I saw somebody. No! Christ. Oh my god. I shot his hat off. Oh man. Oh, hello. Oh, that would have been a beautiful moment. Didn't quite work. An inch to the left that you would have had me, boys. <laughs> Where are you, fella? Oh, there you are. Ah! Hey, just one moment to recover. <laughs> Jack, you are so brave. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's not dead yet. And yeah, he is brave. He is brave. There's a ton of ammo in there. Get off the wall, please. Oh, pick your weapon of choice? Is that what this is? Okay. <laughs> what should we go for? A spray weapon? That one. I like it. I like it. You want me? <laughs> you got me. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good choice. Don't even know what it is, but I like it. Catch this <laughs> God damn! <laughs> oh, I like you. I like this fella. Whoa, okay. Ha Whoa! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Well, that's our mate. That's our mate, Ira. I can see guys like literally everywhere. We have quite a few downstairs. We have quite a few upstairs. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Throw out the gun. You're in there somewhere, right? You're hard to find, buddy. Uh oh. You're surrounded. And Whoa, my hat. Pick up your hat. Get your hat. See, so you look pretty. There you go. Go down? Probably. Oh, man. You can walk out of here or go out Whoa. in the box. Your choice. There's a lot of guys here. Whoa, there goes my cover. Maybe this gun is good, but it's not very accurate, especially when I'm so nervous. That's it, oh. out of ammo. Oh, well, well, we don't have a choice now. We're back on the old pistol. Sorry about the aiming on that one. Oh, nice. <laughs> There's another little ammo station. Let's try something else. What's that, like a bolt? Let's take that. It might be a little bit more accurate. Come on, get down. Come on, Jack. Oh, man. The water's right. Oh, no. Okay. What do I do? Oh my god, the water is rising. Hello. I don't really have time right now. How do I get out of here? The water is rising. Am I just to swim? Or do I have to get somewhere before the water rises up? What's happening? He's he refusing to go that way. I can't see any ladder or anything like that. How do I get across? Okay, so that must be a walkway. All right, I got it. I got... Oh, there's a ladder. 
on the other side of the room, but I was too late. I didn't notice where I had to go in time. Uh, but I know now. Okay, so let's get back there. Oh, flamethrower. Hang on, what? Can I actually use this? Oh, hang on. Is that... Oh, oh, oh. Is that wise? Should I not be using a gun? Okay, we're taking a flamethrower. Alright, I know how to get there. The water's right. Yes, it is. It is. You know what? Can I get that guy with a flamethrower? I can't. Why have I... Here, why have I done this? I don't know why I picked a flamethrower. But it's kind of fun. Okay, come on, Jack. We need to get to that ladder. Come on, boy. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. You have got this. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, that's that guy I just killed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This is too much. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's kind of cool, though. I guess. I don't know if it's appropriate that we should be... That we've chosen this as a weapon, though, to be honest. Jeez. Doesn't quite do well in... in, in you need to jump. Doesn't do well in, in distance scenarios. Maybe I have to go God this way. Damn. Actually, yeah, I think I do. Man, I don't know if I like burning the people, but I sort of do like it because there's something wrong with me. Oh, you're already dead. Sorry. Well, you can have another. You can have another go. Okay. Well, it's not that way. Need to find the correct way to go here. It's not that way either. It's not that way, it's a big hole in the ground. Oh, here we go, it's down here. Alright, what does that sign say? Jackson Street Pump Room. Alright. Oh, okay, you're, you're getting okay. Abandoning the flamethrower. Well, we had some fun. Are you okay, princess? There she I is. I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? Tex. I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. I don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. Mm. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. 
Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. But Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get it back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Biggs will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm out of morphine. Ah! 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 Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Phelps to an aid station. Weapons team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Wow. Wow. Doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here. I'll get this great. Hurry, hurry. The water's oh. rising. You're first. Hand her up. Get out of here. You're not here. I do not argue. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. What are you fighting oh. for? Jump, Cole. Jump for it. Oh, no. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor. Why is he there? And through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. God, you belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who You're recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say... A good friend.
What can I say? We didn't exactly get the happy ending that I was sort of hoping for. I'm not quite surprised though. Having Roy there at the end, giving that speech was just another kick while we're down. How about this for a headline? Guess which former 6th Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps, he didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. That was the beginning of everything. Guys, well that is L.A. Noir. There are a few things that I want to say. Firstly, I sat through the credits. They must have went for about 15 minutes or so. So I've had time to contemplate and think about the ending and realize just how well this ending suits the noir genre. I think that suits it so very well. Of course, I am saddened and upset by the loss of Cole, but I've got to be honest with you. I don't think that any of us are really, truly surprised about that. I had hoped for a happy ending, but no, we don't get that. But I think that his death is quite suitably tragic in a way throughout this entire game we barely learned anything of Cole he was so guarded he kept himself uh, hidden away from so many people including us the player and the ending I, I feel that it is quite suitable to how we've seen Cole through the entire game which basically is just something that is I guess in a way not overly offering a lot of explanation or time um, the last few hours we've been playing with someone completely different Jack Kelso and I have to say that I loved Kelso's character so much I felt that I got to learn a fair bit about him 
even so, perhaps even more than we got to learn about Cole. The funeral itself was sad and upsetting because we had Roy Earl up there talking about how Phelps was such a great husband, a great father and a great friend and he was none of those things. Perhaps he could have been a great father but we don't know that. We never saw his time with his children at all but we certainly know that he wasn't a great husband and he didn't have many friends by the look of it as well. So and then just the kick in the pants was Roy up there giving his his speech and then also to know that everyone there those higher up people just got away with everything that they've been doing this whole time and nothing is going to change that's just going to keep on going and that is really really upsetting i loved this game but i do feel that the ending felt a tiny bit rushed i guess the last we saw of like we didn't even play as cole much for the last several hours of this game and the last that we saw of him was him getting washed away for just a few seconds and he was gone and then straight to the church it, it did feel a bit rushed to me but at the same time I liked it I am upset that he died yes however I do feel that the ending is actually very suitable it suits the game itself it suits what they're trying to say with that as much as you can try and be the hero and solve everything it's quite human to to fail and in this case it was a failure because we still have the corrupt uh, cops we still have quite a few of them going and nothing got fixed nothing got fixed there well guys it's a little bit of a letdown ending if, but I think it is suitable it's suitable for the game and it's suitable for the noir genre indeed but I'm still sad about it <laughs> I liked Cole. I had a great time playing. I loved this game. I would be very much wanting to play it again so I can maybe do a little bit better at some of the cases that I wasn't so good at during the game. But yeah, that was LA Noir. We are here at the ending. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and I hope you enjoyed this series. I don't know yet what's coming up next, but I'm looking forward to whatever we decide to play, and I hope you'll join me there for the new adventure. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.